With infinite banking, would you rather pay 5% to the insurance company or 3% to the bank? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. So we teach entrepreneurs and go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through the infinite banking concept. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload videos. And make sure you take a look at our Patreon page where we teach you exclusive content on how to fit infinite banking into your lifestyle that we teach no place else. Mm -hmm. So today's topic, we're talking about 3% versus 5% and who's going to get the money. Mm -hmm. uh, we are actually sharing this scenario because it is a real life scenario that happened and we just figured that it'd be valuable information for you to know. So what had happened was <laughs> my good friend called me and said, hey, I have $25,000 available in my whole life insurance policy. His policy is with another company that we don't work with. So he was like, what do I do? Do you think I should get a loan or should I go finance this car at the bank? So I said, absolutely. As long as it's a whole life insurance policy, get the loan from the policy and pay yourself back. Mm -hmm. And he said, all right, great, he got it. And he called his insurance agent and said, hey, I wanna get a loan. And the insurance agent didn't deter him, but he put a little bug in his ear and said, hey, um, I would actually rather take my policy to the bank and use that as collateral to get a loan from them for $25,000. Mm -hmm. So that can totally happen. And this actually confused my friend, so he called me back and said, hey, do I take my policy to the bank and use it as collateral or do I borrow from my policy? Which one do I do? And so we were going back and forth, back and forth. And he said, can you just call my insurance agent and tell him what I'm trying to do? <laughs> so we ended up speaking and it was a really productive conversation. And so long story short, I'm not sure what he's going to do, actually. I think he's still kind of uh, deciding. But we wanted to share this with you so that you can make the decision for yourself. So let's take a look at the scenario. We have a $25,000 loan that we want to utilize, be it from the bank or the insurance company, because we have $25,000 cash available within the policy. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the difference. The bank is offering a 3% interest rate on this loan, mm -hmm. which is amortized over 60 months. Mm -hmm. The insurance company, as you know, is going to be 5% simple interest over the same period of 60 months. Now, I've already done the math for you, which I have here in my notes, and I'm just gonna break it down for you. Over 60 months with the bank, you'll pay $26,953.20. With the insurance company, you will end up spending $31,250. Now, which would you rather? Would you rather spend less and get a loan from the insurance, from the bank, or spend more and get the loan from the insurance company. Now that's where this starts to get interesting because when you get a loan from the bank, all $26,953.20 you will come out of pocket to purchase this car. What you'll have to show for it is the car. Perfect. This tradition, that's, that's what we do now. 3% is a good interest rate. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the insurance policy, utilizing insurance policy to make that purchase, you come out of pocket $31,250. Mm -hmm. But with this scenario, you have the car and you have all the principal. So you have $25,000 cash available to utilize and you have the car. Mm -hmm. So the true cost of this, if we still have the principal and we subtract the interest, we only come out of pocket, we only spend $6,250 for this car. Mm -hmm. And we have $25,000 of cash. Mm -hmm. So when you take a look at the scenarios in that way, which would you rather? Me personally, I would still rather use my insurance policy because I have the cash to utilize at the end of this 60 month period. Heck, I have the cash to utilize as I'm paying the car 
back to take over other expenses or other debts. Exactly. And the reason why we say the $25,000 is now in your possession, because remember with an insurance policy, if you have $25,000 available in cash value, you're going to get a loan from the insurance company for mm -hmm. $25,000. You're going to use their money instead, and they're just going to collateralize that $25,000 of cash value that you have available. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't affect the growth because you're still going to be earning cash value that you can use and borrow and finance other things but the fact of the matter is you're still driving your car mm -hmm. and you have $25,000 freed up again for you to finance other things in life exactly exactly because remember this person still has an insurance policy that he has to uh, continue contributing to and he's still getting a loan if he decides get a little loan from the bank. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to share this scenario with you again because we thought that it was valuable information because Darius and I actually did the math and we're like, oh my gosh, we should totally <laughs> share this because many people may be in similar scenarios. Mm -hmm. So this really goes with everything in life. Think about all of the things that you finance or all of the things that you pay cash for. What if you could get that money back? and do it again and again and again and still have the things that you pay for. So in this case, our friend is paying uh, $25,000 for a car. He, in five years, he's gonna have $25,000 again to utilize and really came out of pocket six grand. Mm -hmm. Just depends on exactly what you wanna do or what scenario it is. But again, just wanted to share this with you. So make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io and also check out our Patreon account where we share exclusive information on how to grow and manage your banking system. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.